Hi, welcome to the Crates Motel, my name's Conan. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. A friend of mine in London, a client of mine, is a die-hard SP303 user, and he has challenged me to see if I can get a beat on the MPC to sound like the vinyl comp setting on the SP303. Real famous sound that people know the SP303 for. Now this is just a bit of fun. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna be able to get it to sound exactly like an SP303, but my aim is to at least try and get it in the ballpark. And I love a challenge, especially a sound related challenge. So let's jump in. Right, so I sold my SP303 20 or so years ago. Um, so I asked him if he could, what, what I basically did is I sent him a break and asked him to run it through his SP303, sample it into his SP303 rather, uh, using the lo-fi setting and then applying the vinyl sim comp with some vinyl noise and then a version without some vinyl noise. He set the comp to 75% because we kind of decided between us that no one's really going to push it to 100% most of the time. Uh, and also I wanted a version without the vinyl noise as well just to see if I could capture the compression because the compression is more the kind of sound that people love from the SP303. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a chain in the MPC-1 and see if I can at least get in the ballpark. Now as I said this is just a bit of fun. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to be able to get this to sound exactly like the SP303 but I think I can probably get it in the ballpark at the very very least. So I've got some beats set out on a pad or rather the beat. Uh, this was the beat before I sent it to him. And then this is the beat we've got sampled into the SP303 lo-fi setting with the vinyl comp and some noise added to it. So that classic SP303 sound. This is the same beat, lo-fi setting, 75% compression, but no vinyl noise added at all. So we'll run through them again, clean, vinyl comp and vinyl noise, vinyl comp with no noise. I didn't ask him to apply the flutter thing because I, I know on the SP303 it's a bit crazy and I didn't really sort of see any point. I really, what I'm trying to do is capture the sound of the compressor more than anything else. So I'm going to start with the compressor first because that's kind of the, the defining sound overall. Now I actually said in one of my videos about compression in the MPC that you can kind of get a SP303 sound with a compressor vintage. So I'm gonna start with that. And it's quite a grabby sound. Yeah, the compressor's quite grabby, quite snappy. So I'm gonna start playing around with the compressor vintage and see if I can kind of get in the, in the right area. It's quite a high ratio by the sounds of it, quite a hard knee and, it, and it's pretty put, I mean it's, it's compressed quite a lot. Now I'm gonna try and get the gain match right, but obviously as you probably already know, there is no auto gain in the MPC, so I'll just do my best to try and match the uh, levels. I'm gonna take the attack to quite high because I wanna allow the transient through. See, already quite quickly that kind of sounds it's getting in the right area 
if you've got that kind of snappy slap to the to the beat we're bringing up a lot of the floor which is what the compressor in the sp303 does it really makes the the sample breathe and it really brings up the noise floor so you're bringing up a lot of the vinyl sound a lot of the room sound from the when the, the original drums were recorded so I'm going to dial back the dry and wet just to let a little bit of the original signal come through so it doesn't sound too over compressed just a tiny little bit just a tiny amount let yeah, see that's that's starting to sound pretty decent to me so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some kind of vinyl noise to it the best thing to do with the best way to do that on the MPC is with Airflavor Pro. Now I know this is a paid for plugin, it's not a stock plugin, but it's probably the best way for me to do it. So I do apologize if you don't have this. Um, if you download the preset, which incidentally I'll be putting uh, a link below where you can get a free preset for this chain, you can miss out Airflavor Pro, I guess, and just not have the vinyl noise. But I'm going to use the Airflavor Pro to, to create the vinyl noise here. Let's go into there we go. I have my own default setup where everything is switched off. So I'm going to give it a bit of crackle, a bit of click, a bit of pop. So at the moment it still sounds a little bit bright. The, the crackle and the clicks and the pops are quite subtle and they are quite subtle in the SP303. From what I remember, like I said, I saw mine a long time ago. I actually have the SP404 Mark II now and the crackle and click sound on their simulation of the SP303 is a bit over the top for me personally. I don't tend to use it. If I use the vinyl sim in the SP404, I tend to just use the compressor and I don't use the wow flutter or the vinyl. But So I'm just adding a little bit here. As I said, really my aim is to try and capture the compressor sound rather than the the vinyl sim but I'm adding the the vinyl sim just in here and I'll compare it to the version from the SP303 without the vinyl as well. So you can hear most of all what I'm lacking now is that kind of the lo-fi setting on the SP303 which samples it at I don't know something like 11 kilohertz something like that it was it was very very low I think it was 11 um, but I'd have to check so what I really need to do next is probably use Air Lo-Fi, one of my favourite plugins on the MPC. And I want to bring the, let's take this right down and take this down. Yeah, see now I'm getting even closer. The SP303 has got a little bit of bottom end on it. I'm just going to clip this slightly. Yeah, there's still a little bit of, uh, let's take that to 12. Shouldn't really make that much of a difference to be honest, but. Still a tiny little bit bright, so let's take that down. Yeah, maybe it's a bit too much now. And I'm going to bring the mix down a little bit as well. Let's just take that down. I 
I mean, this is really starting to sound close now. I'm getting quite excited. Right, okay, so. There's a little bit of low end lacking. Rather than use an EQ, I'm going to use another one of my favourite plugins on the MPC. Actually, I'm going to try the SP1200 first. Let's have a listen. So, this is. Let's do it with the one with the vinyl sound on it. And then let's put the SP1200. No, it's still a bit too bright. Let's try the MPC60, which is what I was initially going to do. The reason why I love the MPC60 vintage effect on the MPC, it adds a really nice rounded bottom end. You would have seen me do this in a ton of my videos. I don't know whether it sounds like an MPC60 because I don't have one to compare it to right next to me right now. And I've said this before, I don't care. But what I do like, and I've said this before, is I like the way, I like what it does to the low end. And it needs, at the moment, it needs a bit of low end. So I'm going to try the MPC60. So we'll try it with the, this is the SP303 again. See, that is really, really close. It's still lacking a tiny little bit of punch and a tiny little bit of low end. But for me, that is really, really super close. And I could spend a lot more time on it. I could maybe knock out the MPC60 and maybe add a little bit of low end with uh, maybe the power EQ or something. But I'm, I'm liking how that sounds. And I, th I think it's pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly run through First one's going to be completely clean, straight off vinyl. Second one will be the SP303 lo-fi setting, 75% compressor and some vinyl noise added. Third one is going to be lo-fi setting, vinyl comp, 75%, no vinyl noise added. And then finally is going to be my MPC version with this chain on, which you can download. So we'll go through it one by one. I'll play like say four times around. Now just let me knock out the Air Flavor Pro and compare it to the version with no vinyl noise. So first it'd be the SP303, no vinyl noise with 75% vinyl comp. So there you have it. I think that was pretty close. There were a few tiny differences that I could hear in my headphones. The mid-range on the MPC with that effect chain on it is a tiny little bit different. Um, it's the, the lo-fi sound is either bringing out the mid-range in the MPC or the lo-fi on the SP303 is cutting out some of the mid-range. But that was, that, was, that was pretty close as far as I'm concerned. If you want an SP303 sound exactly, then buy an SP303. I mean, there's, there's, there's no doubt about that. But I think this was pretty close. I think it was close enough for an end user. I don't think many people would listen to that and say, oh, that's not an SP303. I don't think many people actually care that much. But I do care about things like this. I wanted to take on the challenge. I think I, think I did a pretty good job. Please download the preset, pass it out to people, try it out yourself by all means. Just remember that I have tweaked this for this particular drum beat. So when you apply it to other beats or other samples, etc., you're going to have to dial it in yourself a little bit to get it to sound exactly how you want it to sound. But, you know, I think it's a fairly decent, close enough to the SP303 vinyl comp compressor. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more mixing, mastering and MPC tutorials and reviews. This is the Quakes Motel. My name's Conan. Till next time.
Thank you.